Hey everyone, Vimes here. Welcome to the Broken Halo. It's a uh, program where I talk about things, things that have been bothering me, or my thoughts on things. And uh, today's subject is Twitch, and just the whole fiasco of Twitch that's been happening for the past week, and uh, how it affects me as a small streamer. Uh, so let's start from the top, the most important thing. The new sub revenue split. Uh, basically, if you don't know, it's the rundown is that the top streamers on Twitch typically had could get a 70-30 split for sub revenue, while most everybody else gets a 50-50 split. And Twitch is taking that away and moving everybody to a 50-50 split for a sub revenue. That's the long and short of it. Now, first things first, this doesn't really affect me directly. Like, uh, I'm never gonna make that money. I, I'll never see that money in, the ta in that time frame. But what gets me is that uh, the re- or... They were... What gets me about that is that they were talking about how these larger uh, streamers that are affected, the people that are affected, they can make that up by rolling more ads because they uh, up their ad incentive up to 55% for all the ads that are run on the channel. Now I'll tell you right now, ads are a pain in the butt. Like, they they are the death of me right now. Because right now, I have to choose, as a small streamer, to either get punched in the dick or get fucked in the ass by Twitch. And right now I'm choosing to get fucked in the ass because I run three minutes of ads per hour to get rid of pre-roll. And if you don't know what pre-roll is, I'm sure you do. Because it's those six to seven unskippable ads that you have to watch when you first click on a new streamer. And I don't know if everybody knows this, but you can get rid of them, but you have to roll ads during your stream. And so as a small streamer, I need people to watch me. Like the, the biggest thing that could help my growth is eyes on me and pre-roll ads destroy that. Like nobody's gonna watch me if they had to sit through six or seven ads. And so I choose to run ads during my stream in the hopes that if they stick around and they click on me and they stick around, I can charm them enough, I can entertain them enough in order so that they can keep watching me even during the ads uh, during the stream. But in a larger sense, this also affects me in a sense of if there will, if Twitch is willing to penny pitch their top creators, the main driving force of Twitch, and I'll get into that a little later because it, th these top streamers are the main driving force of viewership on Twitch. Combine that with the fact that, or if they're willing to go after these large streamers, and also they also brought up this fucking point about how streaming costs a lot of fucking money, you know, or uh, you know, this infrastructure costs a lot of fucking money. It's like two hundred dollars per one hundred CCUs or something shit, some bullshit like that. Look, don't even start with me because you're getting that fucking infrastructure from Amazon, right? And you're owned by Amazon, so you're getting a fucking discount, or it's not even a discount. You're not paying for that, okay? Not at market price. Get the fuck off me with that bullshit. But combine, okay, combine the attitude or the message that they've sent with that, basically saying small streamers cost us fucking money, and we're gonna be penny pitching our top um, streamers. The only logical path I see with this is the fact that when Twitch wants to get more money, they're gonna come be looking at my stream, right? And they're, and how they're gonna do that? They're gonna be adding more fucking ads to my stream by incentivizing, quote unquote, adding more ads so that I can get rid of pre-roll. Cause I'm pretty sure t Twitch is not stupid enough to to think that pre-rolls don't kill streamers, but they leave it there because they, they rightfully assume that most streamers don't know that if you run uh, a certain amount of ad density, you can get rid of pre-roll. So they're going to be just upping the minutes in which I have to add to my stream for ads. And that's the, like f that for that sub or for that part, the sub revenue part, that's my biggest concern. Well, not my biggest concern, but that is my uh, immediate concern about the sub revenue split. 
But uh, there's another thing that's been happening on Twitch lately this past week that's been really fucking with me. Is the fact that uh, uh, large streamers are embroiled in drama. Like drama, like not even good drama, like bad drama. Like this is the type of drama that I, I, in all God's honesty, or God's honesty, I, I, I would wish that authorities would get involved because this is not something that a bunch of fucking streamers should be dealing on their fucking own. But that's beside the point. Let's move forward. Uh, I say that, but it's just in my head. I think, God damn it, this is just this is just literally a Spanish, it is literally a Zoomer Spanish soap opera. Okay, okay, move forward. Uh, but why why is this bad? Why is it bad that uh top streamers are getting embroiled in drama? Well, it's bad because Twitch is an extremely heavy top heavy organization in terms of uh streamers. Uh, how top heavy? Well, it's basically the point of 93% of all streamers on Twitch have less than 5 viewers. What does that mean? It literally means that most viewers that come to watch things on Twitch only watch the top 7% of uh, streamers. And that's, in my opinion, incredibly bad because that means that or th that means that it's a top heavy organization and top heavy organizations have a tendency that if someone from the top goes away or a good portion of the top goes away the whole thing comes crumbling down like let's take take for instance the current drama that's happening and the parties involved so you got people like XQC Trainwrecks Hassan Miskiff these guys represent, for the month of August, a combined uh, viewership of uh, concurrent viewers in the month of August, one thousand or one hundred thousand or one hundred seventy-one thousand three hundred and forty concurrent viewers in the month of August. Now, in that same month, Twitch as an entire website had a concurrent viewership of. 2,618,840 concurrent viewers in the month of August. You can look this I got all these numbers off uh, Twitch uh, Twitch tracker. So if you want to check uh, check on that, you can go check on that. Now, if you were to break this down even further, that means that Twitch or these four streamers represent 6.5% of all concurrent viewership during the month of August. That is insane. Twitch is the largest streaming platform on the planet. And these four people represent 6.5% of that. It, it is mind boggling how many people these or these streamers represent. And why does this matter? Well, the first point of why this matters is because if we take the previous uh, take the previous uh, thing of sub review cuts. This means that larger streamers are very, very, very incentivized to leave. I mean, you gotta think. YouTube is authoring, offering thirty or seventy thirty for everything on their thing besides uh, uh, shorts, I think. And YouTube gaming is, or not YouTube, but uh, Facebook gaming is gonna be offering lots of money. I mean, we we've we've already seen it. These two companies are out in the dark forest, waiting to, f waiting for any fucking streamers, uh, Twitch contract to come up and fucking shoot them with a big, uh, big load of fucking money. And they're not looking for onesies or twosies either. They're looking for groups. They're looking for you know communities to snipe away, to to poach away. And you know you might think like, oh, we could just replace them. We are, like, we can replace one or two people. Sure, sure. That's fine. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, we, we saw that with Shroud. We saw that with Ninja. These two guys moved the mixer for a year or so. And they got, they their viewership either stick with them or, for the most part, stayed on Twitch. But what happens if, like, a group of five and a group of five more follow them because they were cool with those guys we already see with the drama involved that the top the, the tippy top of twitch in terms of streamers are highly interconnected 
they collab off each other they work off each other that's how they are able to grow to these monumental sub or viewer counts and so once one group leaves it's not too far of a stretch to think that other groups will leave with them because they want to interact with each other right the top streamers on Twitch are not gameplay streamers. They're fucking lifestyle streamers. They're, they're people that get involved in drama. They 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 entertain each they entertain the uh, viewers by being entertaining with each other. That type of thing. And how does that affect Twitch? And how does that affect me? Well, basically, if these large streamers just fucking leave, then Twitch becomes smaller. And if Twitch becomes smaller, that means advertisers are not going to be paying them or paying Twitch more money. They're going to be paying Twitch less money because there's less people to watch or less people to watch their advertising. And so if less people or if Twitch has less money or getting less money for advertisers and they are currently actively pushing for advertising as their main source of revenue, that means I need to get more ads on my fucking stream. Because that's what's that's what's gonna fucking happen. They're gonna be push more ads onto my stream, and that's gonna be even worse. Because let's say if like let's say even if these large streamers go and somehow these viewers are super loyal to Twitch and they want to stay on Twitch and they're gonna try to find new streamers to watch, right? Well, what happens if these guys like like th hypothetically we take a person and be like, damn, my favorite streamer just fucking left. I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna pick ten streamers to watch right now and see if I can find one to watch. Odds are these ten streamers, like small time streamers, they're not. They're gonna have pre rolls up, either because they don't know how to change it or whatever, you know. So you're asking a viewer to sit through seventy to sixty fucking ads in order to watch a new streamer. That's not fucking happening. That is an unrealistic expectation to place upon a viewer. The the, mo the path of least resistance is that they just followed their fucking streamer that they liked before. And there's nothing keeping them to Twitch. Like, there's literally nothing. The top group is very insular. Everybody knows everybody. The viewers probably know, or the viewers are very interchangeable between these communities. You're not going to be leaving their safety nest of large streamers to go to small streamers if they have to sit through seven fucking ads. It's just an impossibility, right? But uh, enough about that. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing that I see, right? You combine all the you combine the new ad revenue cut, you combine the the top heaviness of Twitch, and you have a recipe for disaster, in my opinion. At least that's the way I see it. And let me get to my conclusions on all this and why this I, I feel this way. I mean, as a small streamer, it's taking me two years to get to the point where I'm at. And the point where I'm at is like six concurrent uh, six concurrent viewers a stream. That makes me literally top 6%, baby! Yeah! Well, you know, fuck. But anyway, it... I'm just looking at this and I'm just wondering like fuck man because realistically it'll take me another two years to get any sort of following that will let me try to make this a uh, consistent uh, revenue stream right and I'm just thinking in the back of my head is like is Twitch really gonna live that long is Twitch gonna be around in two years where I might be able to make a fucking living doing this and I, I just, I don't know, like, in my head with the past week that's been happening, or happened, like, I don't know if that's the case. I, I've, I really, I have a very difficult uh, time trying to vision, envision that future. And as a small streamer, I need that stability. I need to know that, hey, this fucking platform is going to be here, right? Like, I'm not going to have to uproot myself and go somewhere else and potentially lose, you know, two to three viewers, which will be literally 50% of my fucking audience. But that's the that's the risk I have to take. And it's like, I'm thinking in my head, like, 
Oh, these these uh, policy changes and the instability of the main drivers of Twitch. Like, I don't know if Twitch is the place where I need to be anymore. But, I mean, that's just me ranting. That's just me thinking. And it's like, I, I don't know if I'm overthinking this. And I, it's it's all just, you know, I'm just just being a little paranoid. But it's like, I don't think I am being paranoid. Like, what I'm thinking is actually very reasonable. And that's the problem, because I am not a business-minded person. Like, I'm not, I'm not the greatest when it comes to entrepreneurship. But if I'm seeing these problems, then there's, then there's definitely something that's going on, right? But, you know, that's just, that, like, again, this, like I said, this is me ranting. This is, my, this is me and my perspective as a very small streamer. You know, if, um, if anybody has comments, like, if you're a small streamer, like, if you're a small streamer or, you know, if you're any sort of streamer, like, let me know what you think. Like, wh what do you think about all this? Like, do you see Twitch as something that can be continued? Or am I just being fucking stupid? Just let me know in the comments. So I'll, I'll read them because uh, you can you can see my fucking sub numbers on YouTube. I don't got that many fucking subs. I'll read your fucking shit. Welcome to the small streamer and small YouTuber uh, experience where you get personal attention from the dude. Anyway, this has been Vimes. This is the Broken Halo. I don't know if I'll be doing more of these. I probably will, but maybe not on a regular. Maybe just whenever I think of something. Anyway, I thank you all. Uh, see y'all later. Bye bye.